So, ladies and gentlemen, the period which I was waiting for has now come. Saturn is now re-entering or it has already, oops, maybe re-entered in the Nakshatra of Shatabisha. So, as per German time, 8.40 a.m. on 3rd of October, Saturn has entered Shatabisha and it will be there till 27th of December and on 27th December it will re-enter Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. So, very, very, very interesting transit this is. Shatvisha Nakshatra is known as the Nakshatra of the 100 physicians. So, therefore, now it's the perfect time for you to go to healing. To heal others, but even before that, to heal yourself. <laughs> so, try to heal yourself mentally, physically, intellectually, spiritually. And here are 10 karmic lessons, 10 insights that you can use in your life to improve your overall life and to uh, make the best use of this transit okay so therefore if you are having some plans for healing then this is the best period use it okay and as usual don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to press the thumbs up if you enjoy this content and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and the dates for my New Delhi visit and Guwahati are finalized. So New Delhi visit is from 25th November this year to 2nd of December for 8 days. And Guwahati is 10 December to 10th of January next year for 32 days. So if you wish to meet me personally and consult, then please send a mail to exhortingastrology at the rate gmail.com. All right. Thank you. And the first lesson, this is a tough one. But you have to go through it, which is face the truth, no matter how harsh it is. Okay, because see what happens, you have to understand. When do you go to a physician? And when you go to a physician, what happens? Most of the times they will tell you things which you don't like, right? Which you don't want to hear or which you don't kind of believe, okay? Or you believe it deep down inside, but it's very hard to accept, right? So... Satvisha, known as the 100 healers, is associated with revealing truth. So when you go to a healer, what happens? The healer reveals truths about you, which, which, which you don't like, right? So truth is painful, unfortunately. So therefore, be prepared to accept truths at your personal level, and especially in regards to the house, which is ruled by Saturn, okay? The two houses. So, wherever Aquarius and Capricorn falls there, you will feel this energy more. So, now what will happen? Suppose Saturn is your 10th Lord. There will be certain truths related to your profession which you have to confront. There is no escape. You cannot take the midway ground, okay? You will have to make a decision and you will have to do what is required, okay? This is very important. Number two, there are karmic, there could be karmic lessons in your friendships. Now, friendships not in general, but friendships related to that particular house. So, for example, as I said, if Saturn is the lord of, you know, the second, sixth or tenth, then friendships in your workplace, it's like, you know, colleagues, quote-unquote friends. <laughs> so, there will be some calming exchanges with them, okay? So, there might be a situation where, you know, they are trying to spread some false news against you, okay, or, you know, they are having some problems in their life because of which they are not able to help you. So, you know, therefore, these are situations where you may feel that you are not getting the help or suddenly, out of nowhere, somebody might come and help you. Okay? This is very interesting because now what will happen is uh, your your behavior will literally impact the people connected to that area of life, okay? So, if Saturn is your Lord of Earth houses, then your behavior will directly impact your relationship with your colleagues, so which means if you behave well, you may get help from them. If you don't behave well, you might be in trouble, okay? So, some carving dealings, carving exchanges, be prepared for it. Number three, there could be healing related to health. You know, for example, if you know Saturn is your Lagna Lord, then your entire body might need some healing. Okay, so therefore, if Saturn is a very prominent planet in your chart, you know, your Lagna Lord or Trinal Lords, 
then please go for some kind of relaxation healing that's very important because you will feel rejuvenated okay so you can go into you know allopathy or you can go to ayurveda try to get some massage or you know, some recreation or try to go somewhere and heal yourself very 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 important and you will see that you will not only just treat the symptoms you will also treat the disease so it's very important that you understand what is happening and why that is happening it's very 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 important if you don't understand why that is happening you will not be able to treat that okay so go to the root cause that is very important number 4 you should embrace the power of solitude now this is easier said than done but what can happen is if saturn is transiting into chatrubhija sometimes you might have a tendency to get addicted to alcohol because of something related to the lordships of saturn so for example if again you know saturn is the lord of your first house then it could happen that you know there, there is some health problem because of which you know you are getting into depression and you are drinking more and that's perpetuating the cycle of your health troubles okay so if saturn is your second lord you know some something related to the family might give you a lot of depression and you may be like Oh my god I can't take this so therefore if things are getting out of control then try to seclude yourself a bit and try to do things in a way that you can uh, you can control yourself do more spiritual practices stay a bit more aloof from the things don't get too much attached to it then number 5 you need to be mindful of technology and innovation in regards to that area of life So, for example, if Saturn is like your, you know, your tenth lord you know, or your third lord, especially, you might need technology more in your job or in your profession, because Aquarius is also ruled by Rahu, and Aquarius shows the latest technologies. And when Saturn transits Shatvisha, because it is also ruled by Rahu, the technology aspect will also come out. Okay, so it could be that you know, if Saturn is your fifth lord, you know, you are using some software to you know, kind of monitor your yeah your health or you know your hobbies you are tracking down you know when you are doing certain things so technology and innovation is very important so try to do something new if if you are already doing something which has which is not giving you results then stop doing it and try doing something else okay number 6 you have to break free from old patterns because this is retrograde so things which have always worked may not work for you now so you may realize that uh, something by doing something you got somewhere but now it will not keep you there necessarily okay so therefore it can also be related to your beliefs not just external things you know for example you you may have some outdated beliefs or you know belief systems and you might have to let go of these beliefs So, for example, suppose Saturn is your fifth lord or seventh lord, and one some a crazy person came and cheated on you, but now you started to believe that every person is a cheater. Okay, that that is not correct. Now it might happen that if you were cheated, then now again you may get cheated, unfortunately. But that does not mean every member of the opposite sex that you meet is a cheater. So you might have to, you know. break free from all these old patterns okay very important otherwise your life will remain the same number 7 you might be forced or you might be encouraged to develop some boundaries okay so especially if saturn is lord of your second fourth or fifth or seventh because these are houses related to family so it might happen that you know you are yeah you are kind of having a tough time in setting boundaries with your family or spouse or children okay so emotional physical mental boundaries healthy boundaries are very important so just because somebody is your family member that person should not or does not or cannot have the right to just trample upon you that person be anybody your mother father spouse children anybody okay so you might want to revisit your boundaries because that's what the rahu and saturn energy does you know it creates some it needs some boundary otherwise problem trouble okay number 8 the 
be cautious of escapism. So you might have this tendency to escape because Shatvisha Akshatra is very famously related with escapism. Okay, it's like you know, with illusion, Maya, you try to escape reality, you know, as I already said, by drinking or watching adult material in the internet, masturbation, or eating too much uh, sugar, and you know, all this. So there would be distractions, you know, like, you know, all this Instagram reels <laughs> or YouTube reels, you know, or emotional avoidance, you know, you are, you are, you are, you are so much attached to somebody that, you know, you are pretending you don't need that person anymore. It's like ultra pretentious behavior towards yourself. So Saturn retrograde will uh, make you more responsible and held you accountable for your actions, okay? So therefore, don't try to run away. It, it can backfire. Okay. <laughs> Number eight, Saturn retrograde, Aquarius, Rahu, Shatvisha energy. You have to be very careful with your communication because now you may say something which you may regret later. And also, better is to under-promise and over-deliver rather than to over-promise and under-deliver. Very, very, very dangerous. If you don't do this, people will lose trust on you. Okay, so therefore, there could be miscommunication. You might use harsh words sometimes, but please remember, there will be consequences, okay? And yeah, because there is some tamas involved in this nakshatra and Saturn is also not a sattvic planet, right? <laughs> so there could be a tendency to, you know, perpetually gossip or, you know, spread humor against somebody. So be careful of that, okay? And number 10, very, very, very important. You should learn to be detached without losing compassion for others. So, detachment is in Sattva Gura. And, you know, not caring about things. Damn care attitude. That is in Tamo Gura. Okay, because you anyways have no uh, feelings or you have no interests. You have no inclination. So, then it's very easy to say, you know, I don't care. Okay. But detachment means when you actually care, but you are not obsessed and you, you are not forcing that person to do things that you want. So therefore, this is a period where uh, you, you your compassion might be tested. And it might be tested, your detachment also might be tested. So for example, uh, people may not do things. You know, if Saturn is like your ninth lord, your, you give some advice to your father, but your father is not hearing. Your father is like, you know, no, I'll do what I want. Okay, so then now what do you do? Do you, be, uh, do you even detached or, you know, you you get into like, you know, that fighting mode. Oh, Papa, how you are not doing this? <laughs> so therefore, you need to understand that people may not listen to you. But that's fine. It's their life. Unless they are completely uh, like, you know, they are not listening to you in such a place where, you you are also directly asso associated or affected by it. That, that's fine. It's their life. You cannot force. Okay. So therefore, understand that this transit can be a good one or a bad one depending on your behavior. So in short, watch out on your communication. Don't run away. Don't get into escapism, alcohol, and watching wrong things in the internet and all. The, you have to be careful. Okay. So be realistic. Be on the ground and. Remember God. God is there with you all the time. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you make the best use of this transit as retrograde Saturn in Chatvisha Nakshatra. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget with the thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. All right. Thank you so much. Personalized consultations in the website below. Please take care. Jai Sia Ram.